So while everyone tries to make it through the coronavirus pandemic together, we continue to hear positive stories of acts of kindness, and we love those. And one essential company is trying to take care of its workers who still have to report to the job site while also lifting up the communities and businesses it serves. WCPO 9 News reporter Josh Bazan explains. Waste disposal is one of those jobs that can't stop for the coronavirus pandemic. Think about what would happen if we weren't out there picking up the waste. It might be even more important at a time like this. We have seen a 20 to 30 percent increase in residential waste since the stay at home order has been in place. Paul Stoutberg is an operations manager for Republic Services in Covington and Cincinnati. The National Waste Disposal Company has decided to buy its frontline workers lunch once a week from local restaurants. These are the meals workers in Sharonville got today from Lucy's Diner, one of Republic's local customers. And we're here to serve and, and get through this crisis and look back to to getting back to some sort of normal soon. The program is meant to take care of Republic's frontline workers who might need a little extra help during this pandemic, while also supporting small businesses in order to help them try to stay afloat. Our hope is these customers remain viable through this, and then when, when the things start opening back up, we're ready to get back to business. Republic is also buying family meals for workers to take home every Friday and will be giving employees $100 gift cards every other week for the next two months, hoping that money too will find its way to local companies that need the business. The whole idea of this is to support our employees through this and support our local customers and communities that we serve. The company has also taken safety precautions during the pandemic by enforcing social distancing, increasing cleaning procedures, and providing additional protective equipment for drivers. In Evendale, Josh Bazan, WCPO 9 News.